Psalm 68, verse 1 says, Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Now listen to this. If God, who is the creator, and every other thing is his creation, has an enemy, what is your problem? Who told you you will not have a problem? You will, have, you will not have enemies. If the all-powerful God, if the almighty God, if the all-sovereign God who created the whole world and everything that is in this world has enemies, what makes you think that you, you will not have an enemy? So it is ignorance for somebody to think, well, why do people hate me? Why do I have enemies? I haven't done anything wrong. Why do they? Please, please wake up from that ignorance. Because if God has enemy and the devil knows very well that God created him and the devil knows very well that his power is limited and God's power is unlimited and God can destroy him anytime and yet still he still decides to be an enemy to God. So who told you people will not hate you? Who told you people will not wish you dead? Who told you not people will not wish to destroy you? Who told you people will not practice witchcraft and divination against you? Please wake up from why me, why me and start resisting the devil. The Bible says resist the devil and you flee from you. Let God arise. Let his enemies be what? Scattered. So when the enemies are coming against you, they must be scattered. If you don't scatter them, they will consume you. The Bible says it's of the lost mercies that we are not consumed. It is of the lost mercies that we are not consumed. There are powers, there are agents, there are witches, there are snakes, there are human personalities that are working for the devil who will consume you if you don't know how to pray. The Bible says resist the devil and he'll flee from you. If you don't resist him, he will devour you. He roars like a lion, seeking for whom he may devour. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him, let those who hate him. So the, God even have haters. God has haters. People, witches, wizards, demons, principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers in dark places who hate God. So if God, a holy God, a righteous God, a loving God, a compassionate God has haters, who, who do you think you are? So when people are hating you, please forget about why me, why me. If they are doing it to God, they will do it to you. What, do, what did Jesus do to merit being crucified? This Jesus Christ came and he was healing the sick, raising the dead, causing the blind people to see, feeding 5,000 and 20,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fishes, doing miracles and just helping people. And yesterday they said crucify him. They said he might, he deserves to die. What did Jesus do to merit death? They killed him. So please stop saying that. Why is everybody hating on me? As part of being a Christian, you will be hated because your God is being hated. Let God arise. Let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away. You see when smoke is being driven away. So drive them away. So may the Lord drive our haters, our enemies away. I love this part. As wax melts before fire. As wax melts before fire. You see, wax is like a candle that is being burnt by fire. With time, it will melt away. As wax melts before fire. So let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Let the fire of God melt and consume the wicked. The witches, the wizards, the agent of darkness that want to destroy your life. But just stop asking, why do I have hate haters? Because I just want to prove to you that God himself has haters. God is, himself has enemies. So if God has an enemy, a child of God will also have what? Enemies. But I didn't do anybody anything. Please, the fact that you said you are a Christian, it is enough for the enemies of God to also hate you because you are a child of God. So you, if your God is hated, you, his children will also be hated. Simple as that. Wake up and start resisting the devil. Lest they barbecue you. Lest they treat you like uh, a, a Thanksgiving tur turkey. And, 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 or or, or uh, fried rice um, chicken barbecued. You are going to pray. Let God arise. Let my enemies. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered because the fire will cause them to perish. The fire will cause them to melt away like wax before fire. So let God arise. 
and let my enemies, let my haters, let my enemies, let my enemies, let my haters, let my enemies, let them be scattered. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by thunder. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by thunder. Let God arise. Any enemy from my mother's house, any enemy from my father's house, any enemies after my life, every enemy after my job, any enemy after my children, any enemy after my health, any enemy after my happiness, any enemy after my destiny, let God arise. Let God arise. Any enemy that is fighting me in my dreams, any enemy that is fighting my marriage, any enemies that is fighting my career, any enemies that is fighting my education, any enemies that is blocking me from moving forward, let God arise. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered. I said this season, if you are not aggressive, they will stop you. They will frustrate you. They will stop your destiny from manifesting. So this season is for the aggressive, for the violent. I didn't come for jokers. I didn't come for people who want to give excuses. I came for people who are desperate to pray, desperate to, to, to take their destiny by force, to be violent, to see changes and transformation and the purposes of God fulfilling their life. You are going to lift up your voice and say, let God arise. Let God arise and let my enemies be scattered. Every enemy after my life, after my children, after my marriage, after my husband, after my children, after my finances, after my career, after my education, let God arise. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by thunder. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by thunder. Any enemy that appears in my dream, be scattered. Every enemy, true spirit husband, true spirit wife, every enemy of witches, any enemy of wizard, any haters that are fighting my career, fighting my business, fighting my marriage, fighting my health, let them be scattered by fire. Every enemy of cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, depression, anxiety, fear, worry, be scattered by fire, be scattered by thunder. Let God arise. Let my enemies, any enemies, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered. Be scattered, be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let God arise. 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 Muntala basata ya da bada basanta da basanta da basata da basata. Riba basata da basata da basata da basata da basata da basata. Riba basata da basata da basata da basata da basata da basata da basata. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let my enemies be scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray. Let God arise. Let God arise, let God arise. Let my enemies, let them be scattered. Let them be scattered, let them be scattered, let them be scattered. Ribaba shakara baba do kabrabada. Ribaba da bruku to brigade brigade. Ribaba da bada 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 bada. Ribaba bada 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 bada. Ribaba bada 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 Let God arise, let God arise. Let my enemies be scattered. Ropa kata la bada 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 bada. Every enemy from friends from me. Every enemy that scattered the message. Every enemy that confuses the message. Never be defeated by them. Any demon that has scattered the message. That has blocked the hundred of them. I scatter you by fire by thunder. 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 Every enemy from friends from me. Every enemy from friends from me. Every enemy from friends from me. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by thunder. Let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by thunder. Let them be scattered by fire. Let God arise. 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 Let my enemies. Let our enemies. Let your enemies. Let them be scattered by fire. Scattered by thunder. 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 Scattered by 
by fire, scattered by thunder, scattered by fire, scattered by thunder. In the name of Jesus, let God arise and cause our enemies who are after our children, who are after our jobs, who are after our destiny, who are after our glory, who are after our star, who are after our, put, our, our purpose, our dreams and vision, who are after our marriages. Every enemy of your marriage, let them be scattered. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. If you're located in D.C., Maryland, or Virginia and looking for a place to fellowship and find deliverance, then we invite you to join Fresh Fryer Prayer Ministry. Fresh Fryer Prayer Ministry is not only a church, but a house of deliverance where we keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning. Many have come to experience the power of God, setting them free from witchcraft, demonic activities, generational curses, and strongholds to break satanic limitations from their lives. Much of our focus deals with salvation, healing, deliverance, restoration of marriage, and breakthrough. The church is located at 10495 Theater Greens Boulevard in White Plains, Maryland. We meet every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and Tuesdays from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. You may also join us on our prayer line every Tuesday at 10 p.m. and Fridays at 11 p.m. by dialing 712-770-5600 and access code 950014-POUND. We look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday. For more information, visit our website at www.freshfireprayer.com. God bless you. Hello, this is Reverend K.L. Blessing. And I'm coming your way today to invite you to our next Prophetic Deliverance Conference. Our next Prophetic Deliverance Conference, which is going to be held on August 9th to 11th. August 9th to 11th. It's going to be a prophetic deliverance conference. We have a seasonal prophet the Lord has anointed and ordained to bring deliverance to the body of Christ. His name is Prophet Richard Owusu. Prophet Richard Owusu of Gethsemane Ministry Incorporated. He is coming to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry to hold this prophetic deliverance conference with me. And we are believing God that those of you who will be able to make it, and I'm, I'm extending this invitation to you, come. And the Lord Jesus Christ will reveal the secret behind your problem, the mysteries behind your misery. Prophetic Deliverance Conference is a time whereby God uses the prophet to reveal the deeper secret, the generational secret that is causing people to suffer generational curses, witchcraft attacks, and demonic problems, which many times we are trying to deal with it, but we don't know the root cause. But when you come into an, if you come to have an encounter with a prophet, God brings revelation, the word of knowledge for them to be able to bring out the reasons why you are going through what you are going through. And the Lord will use them to also deliver you and set you free. And that's why this prophetic deliverance conference is very important. You want to make it to it. And I believe God will use the prophet to bring deliverance to you. The Bible says that believe in God and you'll be established but believe his prophet and you will prosper. God uses the prophet to profit the body of Christ. God uses the prophet to profit the body of Christ. The Bible says God does nothing except by speaking through the prophet. Come and have an encounter with the prophetic grace on this man of God and the Lord Jesus Christ is going to use him to set you free and deliver you from the bondage and captivity of the evil one. So come and join us on August 9th to 11th. August 9th is Friday. Friday, the time is 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday, we have two services. Morning service is from 10 a.m. to 11, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And the evening service is from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday, um, Sunday, we have one service from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So the time again. On Friday, which is the 9th, it's, the time is 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday morning, which is the 10th, it's from, morning service is from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And evening service is from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And Sunday, the last day, which is the 11th, the time is from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then the um, deliverance, prophetic deliverance conference will be over. Um, the venue it is going to be held in our deliverance conference which is located at 10495 
Theodore Grace Boulevard, White Plains, Maryland, 20695. 10495 Theodore Greens Boulevard, White Plains, Maryland 20695. Join us on August 9th to 11th. For more information about this uh, prophetic deliverance conference, go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com and you can get more information on our website or call these numbers and they'll be able to tell you more about this prophetic deliverance conference. Call the number 347-691-4712 or call the alternative number 240-429-2529 240-429-2529 I'm extending this invitation to you and I'm asking you to join us on August 9th, 10th and 11th for this encounter with the prophetic grace and join me and the prophet prophet richard wusu as the lord uses his servant to bring deliverance it doesn't matter what problems you're going through it could be witchcraft it could be ancestral spirit monitoring spirit and, and generational cares demonic attacks setbacks marital issues bring your problems just make it to this conference and the lord jesus will deliver you you don't need any registration you just have to come show up Extend the invitation to your loved ones. Come to Maryland and the Lord Jesus will meet you at the point of your need and break the yoke of the enemy of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I look forward to seeing you uh, for this uh, prophetic deliverance conference. God bless you. For more information, go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com and, and click on conferences. That's when you you know the train to use, the airport to use, um, the nearby hotels and motels and also if you have any question call 347-691-4712 347-691-4712 and the alternative number is 240-429-2529 240-429-2529 i look forward to seeing you for this encounter with the prophetic grace and by the reason of the anointing may the yoke of the enemy over your life be broken. May the Lord Jesus deliver you, give you rest, prosper the works of your hands, deliver you from your enemies. I ask the Lord Jesus to cause your soul to escape as a bird out of the snares of the fowler. May every snare, may every trap, may every bewitchment that is fighting against you be broken by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. See you in our next deliverance conference, the prophetic deliverance conference. God bless you all. Bye.